Let's conduct a t-test for a single mean using the TI-84, which makes it super easy. In this example, we've got average high temperatures for May so far that seem to be significantly higher than the average from last year. This gives me my hypotheses and a one-tail test on the right. Next, I need to identify all of the pieces that I need to calculate the test T value, and we're gonna plug those into our calculator. So if we continue reading here, it says the first 14 days, that's gonna be my N. So the first 14 days of May has a mean of 87.9. This is my sample mean, we're gonna call that guy X bar, and a sample standard deviation of 11.4, that's going to be our S, and we're gonna be testing this at the 0.05 significance level. Let's put this information into our calculator. The very first thing that we wanna do is to go to our stat menu. So we hit stat, and then arrow over to tests, we're looking for that t-test and it's the second option. So I'll arrow down and then choose t-test. Now it gives me the option of data for raw data, which we don't have, or stats. We want stats highlighted. If yours isn't, arrow over to stats and hit enter. Now we arrow down and type in the information for this particular problem. Okay, so our hypothesized mean is first. That's gonna be 72.7. And then we've got our sample mean X bar that was 87.9 so far for May. That sample standard deviation is 11.4. And our sample size, we've got the first 14 days so far. This line is our alternative hypothesis. We've got a greater than for higher than last year's average. So I'm gonna arrow over to the greater than and then hit enter. And now I arrow down to calculate and the magic happens and I hit enter. I am given my test T, that's that 4.9888, almost five standard deviations away which is definitely significant. We are also given that p-value, which is tiny. That p-value is given to us in scientific notation. So this is the size of the tail that our sample mean cuts off, and it's tiny, 1.23. That e is scientific notation, so times 10 to the negative four. I'll put it over here, but it fits well within that rejection region easily we found a significant result. The TI-84 does so much when it comes to stats. Check out my next video here. You've got this.